Man, they say there's no rest for the wicked. It seems to be the absolute truth. First, the PlayStation ponies decided that they're going to go completely and utterly stupid and turn around and start calling concept art the final product of a game. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I roasted them like there is no tomorrow. Anyone that posted in that thread that thought it was a good idea, they got the full brunt of my reckoning. But it seems the L's don't stop there when it comes to the ponies, and it's finally confirmed that The Last of Us Factions 2 is officially cancelled, despite the dev coming out, dancing and prancing about on Twitter. Sorry, I hit the mic again. Um, saying that, uh, you know, they're still working on it, and it's coming out soon. Uh, it's officially cancelled. And though I'm a little upset that it is cancelled, because I was actually genuinely looking forward to it, it's done. It's gone. It's so bad that they blocked the comments because they knew the onslaught of just pure salt that was going to be coming their way. This, I'm afraid, is not boding well when it comes to Sony, Naughty Dog. But they have an article here, so let's go through it. An update on The Last of Us Online. We realize many of you have been anticipating news around a project that we've been calling The Last of Us Online essentially factions too. There's no easy way to say this. We've made the incredibly difficult decision to stop development on the game. I mean, you made that decision ages ago. The fact that it was said that the game was put on ice was proof. But you know, Droid and, uh, you know, Unleashed, where are they now? Where are they? Uh, you know what? I might actually do a tweet and just ask them, you know, what their thoughts are on this and uh, give them my condolences we know this news will be tough for many especially our dedicated the last of us factions community who have been following our multiplayer ambitions ardently we're equally crushed at the studio as we were looking forward to putting it in your hands we wanted to share with you some background of how we came to this decision i really don't think anyone really cares but we're going to continue anyway because uh I don't think they internally were crushed by this because if they were, they would have continued working on it. The multiplayer team has been in pre-production with this game since we were working on The Last of Us Part 2. Crafting an experience we felt was unique and had tremendous potential. As the multiplayer team iterated on their concept for The Last of Us Online during this time, their vision crystallized. The gameplay got more refined and satisfying and we were enthusiastic about the direction in which we were headed. In ramping up to full production, the massive scope of our ambition became clear. To release and support The Last of Us online, we'd have to pull all our studio resources behind supporting post-launch content for years to come, severely impacting development on future single-player games. Or you could just hire more people, right? That is always an option. If a game requires its own fundamental team in order to do what it needs to do, hire the people to do the job, and then let them maintain that work. And then you can have a team solely dedicated to Factions 2. And the rest of the team will do what they do best with the single player experience. I'm not even getting big bucks and I can think of this. Anyway, but as we know, uh, Sony hasn't been making much money. So I guess, you know, new hires are on the freeze. So we had two paths in front of us. Become a solely live service game studio or continue to focus on single-player narrative games that have defined Naughty Dog's heritage. Or, like I said, you could hire a bunch of people, create a live-service studio within Naughty Dog that is dedicated to Factions 2 that will continue that game for years to come while the original team works on Last of Us 3. I just don't see why this is so difficult. I just don't. This, this is obviously... Uh, you know, <laughs> this this is like uh, 101 to me. We are immensely proud of everyone at the studio that touched the, this project. The learnings and investments in technology from this game will carry into how we develop our projects and will be invaluable in the direction we are headed as a studio. We have more than one ambitious brand new single player game that we're working on here at Naughty Dog and we cannot wait to share more about what comes next when we're ready. I'm assuming this is going to be The Last of Us 2 
remake because we've just had the remaster so now that we've had the remaster it should be time for the remake i mean it's uh it's pretty much on point now it's pretty much a it's within that window to announce a remake and with the ps5 pro coming uh i think the remake is actually gonna be on the ps5 pro you've heard it here i'm make. i'm calling it i am calling it ps5 pro will have the last of us 2 remake until then we're incredibly thankful to our community for your support throughout the years as you can see here gas says the loss of us factions is cancelled naughty gods no more hashtag neil cuckman it's uh there's a lot of backlash to this i'm i've been seeing a lot as of late and uh you know it's not good you're looking at uh McQuack here. looks like destiny 2 will be the only sony owned game that i can enjoy the online portion it looks like everything else is just out the window and so it begins you've got a bunch of uh sony fanboys in a room now which looks private no are they oh, there we go it's not a private one at all but it's uh Naughty Dog further confirmed that they have multiple ambitious single player games in development. The Last of Us Part 2 remake is definitely one of them. It's for the PS5 Pro. You will see it. I'm, you know, I'm calling it. Can we talk about Sony mismanagement? Finally, 2023 has been bad for PlayStation. Closed Pixel Plus. Cancelled Pixel Plus game. Layoffs at Naughty Dog. Cancelled Naughty Dog game. I guess that's why they can't hire people for Naughty Dog. Cancelled First Strikes sci-fi game. Cancelled Deviation game. Layoffs across internal studios. Jesus Christ, look at this. Delayed six gas games. Terrible first party showcase. No roadmap or communication. Jim Ryan gone. Raised prices on PS Plus with no added value. One new first party game for all of 2023. Let's not forget about Valhalla DLC. The game mode that they're pretty much attaching to everything right now. I bet it's the same studio that's making it for all of them. Uh, zero new first party games scheduled for 2024. PSVR 2 abandoned. Uh, yeah, it's kind of. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Chat. Here we go. Brap. Everything you highlighted are things that have happened throughout the industry this year. And yet the portfolio of exclusive content for the PS5 leads all current gen platforms. It's a leap to use a linear line of measurement. 2023 has proof of mismanagement. It's which, my God, this dude is literally, literally, he is a bootlicker like there's no bootlickers. You tried to call me out for suggesting factions was cancelled and very likely meant no new naughty dog game for current gen only if microsoft had this type of year with the ceo leaving restructuring games cancelled myriad of layoffs people would be shouting the end of xbox is near i've been gaming since the 80s i've not seen this level of mismanagement in a very long time to cast it off as typical would be ignorant yeah it would be worse if this was xbox who has sales down all across the board console is barely third place i mean they're still coping that's okay. if they were betting everything on console only like sony it'd be an issue it's almost like microsoft knew the future is playing games on console pc cloud and mobile and having four different revenue streams so that you're not fully dependent on one that's the key here right folks that is the key when it comes to microsoft sure their console sales are down and that doesn't bode well when it comes to making third-party contracts that is the thing but with the access to console pc cloud and mobile they've got four revenues now coming in for their game four ways that people can play their games through x cloud uh, through other means like uh, geforce now on the cloud on the mobile on pc on console and you can actually just buy the games on console and pc as well so you know all in all the, microsoft is doing fine this their services has increased they're in uh, positive sure the consoles are going down and they need to fix that if they want to sustain third-party support but these people are capping there is nothing they can say that can actually uh deter from the fact that this was a monumental failure at least factions will have more maps than halo infinite man hyped what's going on bro what is going on 
What is going on? It's it's but not enough lube in the world to make out. When factions release, it's over for COD. Says Sony Pony Starfield failed badly. Not enough lube in the world to make L. This guy just took painless. <laughs> you know what? Let's uh, let's just rub it in a little. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're doing it live. We're doing it live. I'll just I'll just throw the emojis. That that should that should be enough. That should be enough for him. Naughty Dog cancels its Last of Us multiplayer game. It comes weeks after Sony pushed back its live service game ambitions. It's uh, pretty shocking how bad this has actually got. More L's with Tim Dog. Pertorok. So I'm so glad that when it came down to the two choices, they made the one majority ones from Naughty Dog. Mate, this is the same guy that was laughing at people when they and a developer came out and said, I am still working on that multiplayer game. And now they're happy they made the right choice. I mean, the hypocrisy and the double standards and just the two-facedness of this community is there for everyone to see. They are literally a walking joke. The Red Dragon, Lost of Factions multiplayer director says the game is still in active development. Another fake news narrative. Looks like the director was wrong. <laughs> You know what? This one, I am going to, I guess, unlike you, Xbox releases games. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I've been wanting to get back at him for a while. Uh, MBG, ooh, the Last of Us multiplayer game officially being cancelled is sad by the fact that it was done. So, I mean, they're all trying to spin this now. So many people were waiting for this to be real, and then they are now spinning this like it's a good thing. All they do is lie. Waste of duty space. Question for the community. Which concept are, oh, God. The one that's still in development. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to save a lot of this to the actual stream tomorrow night because uh, this is fun. <laughs> Ooh, I'm having fun with this one. I am having fun with this one. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's good. That's good. I was told by PlayStation fanboys that Factions was going to destroy every multiplayer game. <laughs> uh, okay, last one, chat. Last one, last one, last one. It did. It destroyed itself. Smiley face. Oh, well. But yeah, as we can see here, folks. It's uh, the end of the line for factions. Um, it's over. And it looks like when it comes to all future gas games, I think Sony's going to pull out and just stick with their single player games. It's clear that they don't have the inept ability to do multiplayer games. They just don't. People were laughing at Halo in terms of the infinite multiplayer. But the reality is, you know, a year, two years down the line, it's still active. It's still got a healthy player base and it is still doing the rounds and it is still you know, in motion and alive and kicking. So that tells you that Microsoft has a very good track record when it comes to these sorts of games. Sea of Thieves, Grounded, they might not be game of the year material, but they're beloved games by their communities and people love to play them. And the fact that they have so many players playing them right now, including games like Minecraft, although some will say Microsoft can't take credit for that, whatever, it's still going to, I'll still take it. It's clear here that at the end of the day, when it comes to multiplayer games, you just can't beat Microsoft. You just can't. And now with ABK on the track, with, you know, the likes of COD, Overwatch, Diablo 4, Microsoft in that department is completely and utterly unstoppable. At least uh, they have the devs that know what they're doing. So the next time a Sony pony decides to come out and say, that Microsoft doesn't know how to manage their teams, doesn't know how to get their games out or anything. Just know that as, that long list that I read out earlier is actually a thing. No, I don't think anyone has mismanaged their studios as much as Sony has this year. 
And with the way they've treated their multiplayer aspect, it's horrendously bad. Anyway, you let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let's have that discussion, and I'll see you in the next one. Remain legend.